Take game number two here at Hare Arena from the Danville Dashers, six to three, the final score. Back-to-back -back power play goals in the second period, August. Yeah, definitely got lucky on both of them, so fortunate to get those bounces. Now, what was the uh, whole feeling about the victory tonight against Danville? Um, it was good. Yeah, you know, we didn't play a full 60. We played uh, two periods, and then the third period a little lapsed. Just when you have a big lead, you know, that usually happens. But, you know, we still got the win, and we're happy with it. Now, playing uh, four games in a row, three at Hera, and Friday you guys are at the David S. Palmer Arena in Danville, Illinois. You guys have to be tired right now. That's uh, 60 minutes a game, and then times that by four. 240 minutes of hockey. Yeah, definitely a long weekend. Um, yeah, but no, it was good. It was good to get us ready. You know, that's going to happen in playoffs. You're going to play games. So, you know, it's most of the guys are tired, but... I guess it's not a bad weekend. We would have wanted the four wins, but, you know, we're, we're going to be all right with the three wins. Saturday and Sunday, you're a star of the game. How does that feel for you? Uh, it feels good to get a star. You know, just as long as the team's winning, you know, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. But, you know, I'm not going to complain if I get a star, so I'm happy with it. Now, you guys won't be at home until December 27th, so that means a couple weeks on the road, and we won't get to see you until after Christmas. What's your feelings about not coming over to Hera for a couple weeks? Um, well, it should be good. You know, we're going to play, uh, I think we play Danbury and the, all the other teams, so it's going to, you know, be good. You know, we got to win these games. They're going to be huge. we got to get points. It's a tight race, so, you know, it's going to, it'll be good. Now, tell us, what is the history of hockey for you? Um, well, I grew up in Los Angeles, California, and for me, most kids my age, it was uh, Wayne Gretzky. I went to my first Kings game as a kid, and I saw him play, and then I started skating, and then, yeah, the rest is history. An interesting fact about Gretzky, his first game here at Hare Arena with the Indianapolis Racers, and it was against the Cincinnati Stingers back in the 70s, too. That's one, that's one of the big history staples, or the hockey staples here at Hare Arena. And this day, uh, this arena looks just like Wayne Gretzky just stepped on the ice. That's not a knock to Hera, I, I should say. But you can tell hockey history's been out here. So where's some of your hockey career taken you thus far? Um, well, I played uh, for the Junior Kings. It's uh, like the Kings affiliate uh, youth hockey teams. And then um, after I played junior hockey in the BCHL, and then I played at uh, University of Alaska Anchorage. I see. Uh, what were your teams growing up as a kid? Um, what do you mean by teams? Uh, hockey teams, I'm sorry. Um, any team that you come to watch over the years, NHL, it could be any level. Who's been your favorite? Oh, I'm always going to be a Kings fan. You know, Wayne Gretzky did it for me, so yeah, I'm always a diehard Kings fan. Jonathan Quick, too, a great goaltender for them as well. Great team out in Los Angeles at the Staples Center. So let me ask you, how do you get from California to Dane, Ohio? Um, well, I played in the SPHL a couple years ago, so I played against Kraz, and I played with Jason Hill and Braden Metz and a couple guys from last year, so that's how we got in contact. Now, what's been your favorite part about Dayton, Ohio? It can be outside hockey, it could just be about hockey, but what's one thing that you'll always remember about our southwest Ohio city? Well, definitely the past couple of days would be the weather. I'm not used to this cold weather back home, so definitely the weather. It's, I'm, and I'm driving, so it's kind of icy out there, so I, I'm not used to it, so I got both hands on the wheel. I tell you, uh, coming from a native Ohioan, I have to say the same, too. It's just winter, winter weather driving, just bleh. But and the same thing. I mean, Dane's a great city, great fans out here, another great turnout of fans. It's been, it's been a great season thus far. What's your take so far in 2013, 2014? Yeah, definitely, and the crowd is great. You know, it's, they, they get it loud, and they get us going. You know, it's, it's, it's nice to play to start the game, and the crowd's fired up, and I get, I get fired up when hearing the crowd. So, yeah, it's great. The fans are awesome. August, thanks for your time, all right? Thank you. And Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, too, by the way. You're watching Dayton Demons Television. Here with Ahmed Mahfouz, one of the three stars on tonight's contest. The Dayton Demons defeat the Danville Dashers 6-3. Great game, Ahmed. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, let's talk about tonight's uh, win over the Dashers. 6-3, final score, just like last night's game. What went well for the Demons? You know, we came out to another early start, and we just outworked them and got out to a nice early lead and just... 
it was smooth sailing from there. Now you guys have played four straight games, three out of the four here at Hare, one at David S. Palmer on Friday night. That's about 240 minutes of hockey played in 12 periods. It's, it's a lot of hockey to take in, but at the same time, it must have been a heck of a trip. Oh, it definitely was, you know what I mean? It, it does take a toll on you when you get to the fourth game, but that's, what, that's why we put on the equipment, right, to play games. So when you get four days in a row where you get to play a hockey game, it, you can't ask for much more. Now, you guys won't be back here at Hare Arena until December 27th. That means a couple weeks of traveling, and I believe your next games will be at Danbury. What's going to be the secret of taking a couple games away from the Whalers? You know, honestly, when you go into their barn, that's a real tough barn to win, especially when you're going in there for two. But when we go in and work hard, I don't think any team can beat us. So that's our, hopefully our game plan when we go into Danbury next week. Four games in a row this week, and you guys won't be back until two days after Christmas. I talked a little bit with the coach, seeing what you guys did for a Christmas break, if you could go home momentarily. But since you guys can't, since you guys have a couple games before and after Christmas, do you guys, last year, did you guys have something special going on? Uh, you know, we just, just at our apartments, we all had a team dinner there, Christmas dinner, and it was just good, you know what I mean? It's the family at the rink, so you can't spend it with your real family at home, but you got a family over here to spend it with, so it was a blast. Now let me ask you, I know a lot of people are envious of your beard. What is your secret? Honestly, you just got to let it go, you know what I mean? It's been about four or five months now I've let this grow. I did it last year, it seemed to work well for me, so I thought I'd do it again this year, and don't really touch it up too much, just let it go. I tell you, a month went by in November, and I think my hair only went down here, and yours just like, whoosh. Uh, it's a very cool beard. It's very, it's very symbolic of the team, because you know, once you see the beard on the ice, that's Ahmed Mahfouz. Look him go down the ice. What were some of your favorite moments of tonight's game, by the way? Honestly, it was just, uh, you know, all three lines got a couple of goals. Everyone did their part. It's when you get a team effort like that, there's no better feeling. All three lines are going. They're all contributing. Everybody's working hard and just the whole 60 minutes. Ahmed, as always, thanks for your time. Thank Merry, you, Cri Merry Christmas and happy holidays, all right? Merry Christmas to you. Have a good day. You're watching Dayton Demons Television. Here with the coach, Trevor Karazowicz. The Dayton Demons win 6-3 to three over the Danville Dashers, and they take 2-3 or three from Danville and this three-game series. Coach, four games, three here, one on the road. That's about 240 minutes of hockey, and that is about 12 periods of hockey. Lots of hockey to be played, lots of hockey to be seen, and you guys will take a, take a rest as you guys go on the road next week. Uh, yeah, it was a good weekend, obviously. It would have been better if we could have beat Danville, obviously, in their arena, but uh, three out of four isn't bad. And, uh, yeah, I said you'd come back with a week of good practice and go into Danbury for Friday, Saturday. Now, what was some of the silver linings, some of the great shines on this team tonight? Uh, it was an all-around effort. Obviously, started from Jeff Rose. He played well. He made some huge saves for us when we needed it. And, uh, obviously, Foose, Bataglia, and Giuliano's line is... Obviously, they've been clicking. I think Foos has, I don't even know, 15 points in the last four or five games. You know what I mean? So, uh, obviously, those guys are going. Those are our go-to guys, and the defense have been playing well, too. Now you guys are going to be on the road at Danbury. What's going to be some of the secrets to take a couple wins from Danbury, Connecticut? Uh, Danbury is always a hard building to play in. You just got to, uh, you got to outwork them. You got to play physical. They're a physical team, but, uh, I think we can outmatch them and I think we can match them even better in the hard work zone. Now this is the last home game that we have until December 27th, which is two days after Christmas. So we won't, I won't get to see you guys here at Hare Arena. And it's a little bit of a stretch between home games, but at the same time, there's still lots of hockey to be played. Uh, yeah, obviously, again, like it's part of the game. You got to play on the road and you got to be able to win on the road. But uh, the home games, when you have a home game, you got to be able to win them at home. So, uh, unfortunately, it's been fortunate right now that we have been winning at home and we've been doing well on the road. So, hopefully, the boys can keep it up and uh, come back into the hair in a couple weeks and play in front of the fans again. Now, what's going to be the plans for practice this upcoming week? 
Uh, obviously, I'm going to give the boys tomorrow off. They've had four and four, so uh, they deserve a day off. And then uh, we'll come back. We'll come back Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, that'll basically be it. And uh, we'll have a good road week, and we'll probably leave Thursday night and head to uh, head to Danbury. So it'll be good. A great night for hockey tonight. Ahmed Mahfouz, Anthony Battaglia, August Aiken, the three stars of the game. Jeff Rose, exceptional in the net again. And Justin Brosen picking up his first goal as a demon. Lee McClure picking up his second goal as a demon. A great night overall for Dayton. And some of the fans staying around here at the pub. It's a great sight to see. Yeah, it was good. Obviously seeing uh, Brosen get his first professional goal is always a good thing. And seeing... Uh, um, a clear score. He's a hometown boy. He's always from around here, so it's nice to see him scoring. And other guys, obviously, other guys contributing helps well too. It's good works out good. Coach, good luck at Danbury. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. All right. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you. You're watching Dayton Demons Television.